This morning, we're at urgent care because Asher did something to his wrist yesterday and either sprained or fractured or broke it or something. So we're going to get checked out. Hopefully it's nothing. That is the prayer. So while we're waiting out in the parking lot before it opens, I am knitting on my Lydia Bennett shawl out of the linen that I have. It's turning out nice. I wasn't sure about the linen with this shawl initially, but now I'm really loving it. And I'm excited to, I ended up modifying the pattern from my original pattern ever so slightly um, over here on the edge, shifting this bobble down a row. And um, I like how that's turning out quite well. And um, I'm excited to wash it because it's a little um, stiff now. A little crunchy right now but I think once I wash it it'll really soften up this is it's the Barocco Indio which I looked on their website and I actually don't see it anymore I think they've made a different version of their linen yarn 100% linen made in Italy which makes me feel fancy however I got it for one dollar a ball which is amazing So I'm doing that, and I'm going to bring my Kindle in and read inside, because if I'm waiting in the lobby of a health care place, I really don't want to be, um, I don't know, I don't want to have my knitting in there, because I can't wash it right afterwards. So, pray that it's not broken. My hand isn't broken. Or fractured. We are out of the um, urgent care facility, and what's the verdict, Asher? It is not broken, it is not fractured, but it's just a sprain. So that's Hallelujah! Yeah. And I didn't get much knitting done, but we got to watch Nailed It. Yeah. In the lobby. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. After my big morning with my son at the um, urgent care for his wrist, I came home and did a bunch of dishes in the sink that were very much in need of washing. And now I am finally having a cup of coffee and I'm sitting with my puppies and having a little quiet time. And this, I go from one sick family member to another. I guess the other one's not really sick, but injured family member. This one's not sick either. He's just... Um, he got fixed the day before yesterday. And look at the poor baby. He has a cone head. Can you say hi, you poor little cone head? No, oh, he's sweet though. He still loves me. He's miserable with the cone on though. You should, he's like acts normal when the cone's off. And then you put the cone on his head. And he's just so miserable. But he does try to lick when he um, doesn't have his cone. And that's not acceptable. And this one's just jealous of all the attention that the other one's been getting. Isn't that right, Moose? Oh, I'm sleepy too. Mwah! Now it's a little while later. We're going on a walk. And we've acquired another dog for our walk today and actually for the next week and a half my parents have left their schnauzer miniature schnauzer with us and so we have three dogs to walk today murphy say hi oh yes and you got a little bandana he's excited to go on a walk he misses his parents though I picked up a book from the library, the Harry Potter Knitting Magic book, and Murphy, my parents' dog, is barking. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is super fun. I have read all of the books and, of course, watched all of the movies, and so uh, when I glanced this at the library, 
I was super excited. I really want to make the owl. And I don't know what else. Hopefully I can have, find some time to do something like this. I picked it up before, um, actually in the way when I was going out of town on a trip. And it made me wish I had like worsted weight wool to knit on in the car. So anyways, super excited. Have you guys um, seen this before? Here's the Time Turner sweater. So when Hormone and Desert Time Turner, this is like the yoke is supposed to be like that necklace Time Turner thing. I know that my kids would like some of this stuff, um, but we'll see how much I am able to make. Oh, this is cute. If you had a baby, it's a mobile. Mobile. How do you say that? Isn't that cute? The sorting hat and then the other four are for the different houses um, let's see there's another one I want to show some of them are kind of like direct um, things from the movie and some of them are more just kind of a nod to the movie. But this is the a scarf. And I think, I think it might be double knit. I don't know, I haven't looked at it that close. But it has the nine and three quarters, and I think these are broomsticks, and then the night bus. So, super fun, let's see what else. Oh, these are kind of cute, and you have to know what you're looking at to know that it's Harry Potter related. So it's socks and mittens and just the little yellow dot and the white wings. It's a snitch. Oh, that's kind of cute. Let's see what else. Oh, here's a cute one. You can make the uniform sweater that they wear. I mean, it's a simple sweater, but um, just with that little stripe, it makes it so it's Harry Potter-like. Oh, here's another picture of it. Let's see. Oh, of course, the basic scars, but the stripes make it Harry Potter-like, and the fact that they're big. And the sweaters. Let's see. Yeah. The one that Mrs. Weasley knits. They have um, they have all the letters, so you could do, you know, whatever letter it would be for you or your kid. Um, my son said I should do three for our family. Granted, I don't know how often he would actually wear it. It would be cute for Halloween, maybe. Oh, and here's the owl. Harry's owl. Can't find it now. Pages are sticking together. Look how pretty the wings are. I mean, they're stuck to the body. They don't come off, but that's the head. Cute, right? Oh, there's the whole body. Oh, this one's good too. Fluffy. You remember Fluffy from the very first book? The three-headed dog. I think you instructions to make a three-headed dog. It would be such a pain though because I think that the hardest part of making a stuffed toy is the face and you have to make three of them. All right. Oh, here's a pixie. The Cornish pixie. And there's a sweater that has a variety of things, like a cauldron, there's are Harry's glasses, and the lightning bolt, Quidditch cup. Anyways, they have some good mittens, too. Oh, I want to make these. Um, the ex what, Expecto Patronus, 
when Harry does his stag Patronus across the lake, scares away the Dementors. And this is um, I think a cat, it's like scarf type thing. And I forget the lady's name, but she's like that mean head mistress of the school that comes in and does all those rules and stuff. She wears one. I don't know. We'll see if I get a chance to make anything. There's lots of stuff in this book, though. If your library has it, you should totally just check it out for the fun of just perusing the book. All right. <laughs> I'm working on the hem of my texture cardi while I wait for things to load and things like that for my Lydia Bennett Shaw update here. Um, but I'm just on the that last color on the hem. It's hard to see the light behind it instead of in front of it. But it's coming along and I want to do kind of a long hem. So I think it's a little over halfway. I apologize for my dogs. <laughs> 